All right, what is up everybody? It's Ethan here and I'm coming to you from White Tank Mountain Regional Park outside of Phoenix, Arizona in the, uh, in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. And uh, today is April 13th, Friday the 13th. And uh, believe it or not, it is only 73 degrees right now. So it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's sunny skies, like I said, 73 degrees uh, with a light breeze. So it's perfect weather for hiking, which is crazy because uh, if you know anything about this part of Arizona, you know that it can easily be in the uh, in the 90s this time of year out here, which obviously would be, I mean, for me at least, would be a little too hot to go on a hike. But it's a beautiful park here outside of Phoenix, and I'm excited. I'm on the Ford Canyon Trail. Don't know exactly how far I'm going in yet. I got a lot of plans while I'm here in Arizona, and I'm trying to cram as much stuff in as possible. So I did want to do at least one fun hike while I was out in the Phoenix area, and this is the spot that I picked. I might also do another trail while I'm out here. We'll see. It is already pretty late. It's already after 1 o'clock, so... Basically, like I said, I'm just trying to get as much stuff in as possible, but I am leaving Phoenix tonight, so everything I do out here has to be uh, today before it gets dark. But I'm excited to show you guys this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've never been to this part of Arizona before. I've only been in northern Arizona. So this is really cool. So, considering that I've never been to this part of Arizona before, this is the first time I've ever seen those in person. The uh, giant saguaro cactus. Obviously, there's tons of them out here. And they're, I mean, they're like trees. They're huge. And it's really cool, because I've never seen those in person before. Maybe I'll go up and give one of them a hug. Just kidding. By the way, for all the uh, Arizona natives out there, I do know what those are. And I know not to get anywhere near those. I've seen the videos. I know what those things can do. And it does not look fun. Going through a whole bunch of these now. Look at those views. Really good views of the White Tank Mountains. Alright, so still continuing to hike on the uh, Ford Canyon Trail, and the scenery is still really great out here. Getting closer and closer to uh, all those hills and mountains up there. And I'm not exactly sure where this trail goes. I mean, I heard that it's supposed to get difficult at some point, which I would have to assume means that it's going to go up towards that way, but I don't really know, to be honest with you. And like I said, I'm not really like super committed to hiking like this whole trail, because uh, 
you know, I do got lots of other plans while I'm out here in Arizona, and I don't want to um, end up, you know, having this take too long or spend up too much of my energy. But so far, it's been a very easy hike. I'd say I'm probably like a mile in. And thus far, it's been very easy, mostly flat. Um, the only thing is, obviously, it's extremely exposed. So, water is key on this hike, even on a day like this where it's, you know, windy or breezy and in the low 70s. Water is still key. All right, we're looking back at the area that I just hiked through. There's a trail down through there. And I'd say I'm about, probably about a mile and a half in right now. Still have really great desert views out here. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this hike, I gotta tell you. It's cool, it's just, uh, it's completely different from what I'm used to, so. Even though I do go on a good amount of desert hikes, this is, I mean, the Sonoran Desert is obviously quite a bit different than any deserts you'll see out in, like, Utah or Colorado, so it's really cool, and it looks like I might be going down into that valley down there, so let's see where the trail goes. There's an eagle flying up there. Very cool. And what a nice view. Well, I'm probably about two miles in now. And this is looking back in the other direction. Starting to be able to see some of the mountain ranges on the other side of Phoenix. Which is pretty cool. And then this way, uh, the trail's been pretty much flat so far. There's been a few ups and downs, but nothing major. But it's uh, quickly getting to the point where the trail's not going to have any other way to go other than up. So I'm assuming that I'm going to start gaining some elevation in a relatively short period of time here. Uh, we will see what happens. I gotta say, this is a really quiet place. I haven't seen many people. I've only seen like three other people so far, so it's been a pretty quiet trail. And for being so close to Phoenix, you really feel like you're secluded, so. Alright, here we go. A warning sign. Hazardous travel conditions beyond this point. Well, as nice of a view as we're getting from here, I'm thinking the view will be even better if we go a little further up. So I'll hike a little further up, see what happens. But like I said, I'm not trying to not trying to do anything crazy today, so if it ends up getting too steep or something, I'll just turn back around. So this trail has gotten a lot more narrow and, uh, and rocky and stuff. And there's definitely been more ups and downs. But I still wouldn't really say it's been like a difficult trail. Wow. Look at this, guys. This little rock here is the first bit of shade there has been on this entire trail. 
It feels so amazing to just stand under this rock. Gives some good protection from the sun up there. And conveniently, you also get a very nice view from this spot. So, not really sure how much further I'm gonna go. It looks like, uh, I think this trail is actually a pretty long trail. So, I'm not really planning on hiking too much further in. But, I am enjoying what I've been seeing so far. It is really nice out here. And look at that. Just to turn a corner here, came out to some new awesome scenery. Really beautiful. There's that wash down there. But it does look like this trail is going to start heading up, get a lot steeper here pretty soon. So. I'm kind of trying to determine if I should go, like, I think the trail goes up there, and if it does, I'm not that far away from getting like, a pretty good view, so we'll see. Alright guys, sorry about the wind, I know it's a little windy up here. So, I think this is where I'm going to call it a day. Um, if you look behind me here, so... The trail is right there, and it looks like, I can't really tell where it goes from here. I don't know if it heads up that way through that notch, or kind of goes up that way. It looks like it probably, I think it, it looks like it kind of loops around that way. But, this looks like a good spot for me to turn around, so I think I'm going to do that. Look over there, you got some birds flying around there. They see something. I don't know what, but they see something. But anyway, I really like the view up here, actually. This is a nice, cool view. And I did get pretty far back. Um, I mean, I didn't go too far in, but I'd say I, I'm at least probably two and a half, three miles in, something like that. So this looks like a good stopping point. There's a nice little shady spot over here, which I'm going to take full advantage of. And I'm going to sit down and relax for a couple minutes. And then turn around and hike back to the trailhead. But this is a really cool trail. I highly recommend it. Like I said, um, honestly... I haven't really seen anything all too difficult thus far on this trail. It might get difficult further back that way, but so far hasn't been that bad. I would call it moderate though, just because, you know, it is rocky and it's extremely exposed. So that's like the biggest thing is the exposure on this trail is like pretty extreme in terms of like, you know, the sun and stuff like that. So, um, I would say bring a lot of water, bring some snacks and, uh, just hike however far in you're, you're comfortable with. Because once again, I really don't know. I don't even know how far in this trail goes. I could be close to the end or I could be not even close. And I'm pretty sure it's got a good amount longer to go. So I'm going to call it a day here. And I'll get back to you guys soon when I'm hiking back out. Getting the views of the valley back. Very beautiful. You can see for miles. Matter of fact, I didn't really notice this before. It's probably going to be hard to tell in the video. But way out there, you can see downtown Phoenix. You can see all the buildings in Phoenix. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that before. So 
So there's definitely some nice scenery on this trail. That is one big cactus. That thing is like at least 18 to 20 feet tall, if not more. Actually, it's probably more than that. It's probably more like 25. Yeah, that is huge. Bigger than a lot of trees. That is crazy. Like I said, you'll have to excuse me because I've never, uh, never seen those in person before. The saguaro cactus. I've never seen one in person up until uh, coming out here to the Phoenix area today. Because uh, the last time I was in Arizona, I was only in uh, northern Arizona, like Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon and. Uh, petrified forest all those areas and uh, none of those places have those all right so we're no longer in the so-called hazardous section of the trail as you can see Honestly, I think what they mean by that is just simply that from this point on the trail gets a lot more primitive because uh, You know up to that sign This trail is you know, it's wide. It's pretty much almost completely flat You know, it's a little a couple ups and downs, but it's mostly flat and uh, And it, you know, there's a lot of like benches and stuff like that trail like something you'd see in a wilderness area so I kind of think that's what they were talking about when they said it gets hazardous because you know like I said it got a little more primitive but it really it's really not that difficult of a trail at least not to the point where I went I just don't really have time to go any further today and also want to conserve my energy for uh, some other hikes I'll be doing while I'm out here We're going to be coming back down here to the floor of the desert again and finishing this hike through here. So we're coming up to the Area 9 trailhead, which is uh, where I parked at. And if you look over there in that direction, getting a good view of the uh, Superstition Mountains from here. Alright guys, well, this was a really fun hike. Definitely glad I made it out here to uh, White Tank Mountain Regional Park so I could check it out. I am not disappointed at all. And uh, I keep saying this, but it's never any less true. This was just like a perfect day to come out here. Not too hot, uh, a nice little breeze most of the day. Really great, great hiking weather, especially for, uh, 
for uh, central Arizona because like I said normally this time of the year it's more like you know high 80s or 90s not mid 70s so thank you guys for watching I appreciate it I'm gonna have more content from uh, some other hikes I'm gonna be doing while I'm here in Arizona coming up as well so definitely check those out if you get a chance and uh, remember to like this video and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if uh, if you want to see more and I'll get back to you guys on the next one. Have a good one.